Hello. You might be expecting a different uh, game here. Usually I'm playing Rogue, but today I'm playing Moria. The Dungeons of Moria. A classic roguelike inspired by Rogue, obviously. Um, it was one of the earlier ones. Um, it's a weird game. It adds a lot of new systems and layers to ro what Rogue is. Um, and I'm not 100% sure if I like it yet. Uh, I've only played for like 10 minutes. Um, <clears throat> so, first of all, it's a little off-center in the video because the window that it is played in defaults to the same aspect ratio as my computer monitor, and if I resize it at all, everything gets completely fucked up. So we're not going to touch it. I managed to zoom in and get the recording to like at least center it uh, vertically. So um, we're just going to keep it like this. Hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. Uh, we're going to press any key to continue to start our journey into Moria. Yes, we technically have a, a save here. Um, I think we can find my body from the last game I played. I think that's what this is. Uh, so first, we're going to choose a race. As you can see, we're uh, already markedly different from Rogue. Um, I don't really know what to do. I think I'm just going to go for a human, female. Now you can... Uh, Reroll your stats, uh, as you can see on the top right. We have the very standard um, Dungeons and Dragons stats. They're out of order um, from what I'm used to, but uh, I, I mean, on the other hand, those are the associations. Like the intelligence is the strength of the mental stats in usual D and D fa uh, fashion, but. The background we've been given is one of several children of a yeoman, a credit to the family, brown, eye, brown eyes, wavy red hair, and a dark complexion. Um, this is, like, not a terrible set of stats here. Um, you could probably be an okay wizard. I got 16 intelligence, that ain't nothing. I can re-roll if I want, and you can just re-roll infinitely. I'm not going to. Uh, I do think I want to be a wizard. I want to be a mage. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit B. Uh, you can learn some new spells now. Don't know how to do that, but I can. Uh, miscellaneous abilities. We have fair fighting. Very good saving throw. Very good magic device. Uh, zero feet of infravision. Poor searching. But good perception? Very good perception? I don't know. So we're a mage girl. We're going to go into the dungeon. Uh, our name is going to be Nora. So, the reason it took so long for me to get this working is that by default, it uses some very old controls, which means that H is left, L is right, J is down, and K is up. Or J is down and K is up. Um, that sucks for me, um, and that is the default here. Oh, we're being pursued by a blubbering idiot. Nice, cool, awesome. Uh, we're gonna go to some options here, turn off roguelike controls, because that's apparently how that works, and now we're gonna use the number pad. Four, eight, six, and two... Uh, it's still awkward for me because I expect five to be down, but it's not. This is the town. We will return here. We always start here. Uh, we can buy things in the stores. So we're going to come down here to one. This is the general store. 
run by Andy the Friendly. We have a little bit of gold. We could buy some stuff. Uh, ooh, a lantern. We are gonna want that. No, what? Sorry, I have to purchase. I have to push P. Purchase an item. Purchase a brass lantern. You may specify an offer. I mean, well, let's try 70, then. Thou knave, no less than 71 gold pieces. Okay, well then, 71. You have forced me bankrupt, but it's a deal. Okay, cool. Uh, we should probably get some oil. Uh, just to have... I think the lantern's gonna use oil. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> okay. Okay. Ration of food, strip of beef jerky. These are things we want, so. Da, 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 da. Six rations of food. <coughs> Robbed again. Shut the fuck up. You have a strip of... No. I assume that rations might spoil and beef jerky won't. Don't know. Um... But, uh, I think that's enough for now. Next up. We're gonna come over here. Inglorian the Mage. Oh, let's see. Book of Magic Spells. Wand of Light. That's useful. Wand of Lightning Balls. Wand of Lightning Balls. Wand of Disarming. Magic Missile. Classic. Hmm. Can't really afford most of these things, but we could get a book of magic spells. And in fact, I will purchase a book of magic spells. Let's see if I can't haggle it down to 200. Five. Awesome. Great. Uh, now we're down to 152 gold. Let me come up here. This is Hard Blow the Humble. Uh, this is a temple. We don't need that. Just being swamped by people here. Um, oh, a chemist. An alchemist. Hmm. A scroll of identify would be very useful. Ugh. Okay. That's all we can really afford to get. Yeah. See, they trapped me. Now I have to hit the pitiful looking beggar. What the fuck? A mean looking mercenary killed me? What the fuck? Okay. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> this is a... Eh, this is an interesting game. <sighs> we got some, some other stuff here, as you can see. Played this game a couple of times. Test was not me, obviously, but. Okay, well. The game closed. The, the game just closed. Are we back? We're back. Okay, well, that's 
I don't know what else I could have done there. So instead, we're going to be beefy this time. We're going to be a half troll. Um, puke yellow eyes, oily seaweed green hair, and white leprous skin. Ugh. I'm going to reroll a couple times here. Ooh, 18 strength. That's good. That's pretty good. 1808 is not like the best it could be, but like, you know. 187. 1810. It goes up to 1800, I think. Um, your father was a cave troll warrior. You have slime green eyes, oily dark purple hair, and white leprous skin. Leprous skin? I'm not a fan of the leprous skin. But 18 constitution and 18 strength, pretty good. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this. Three charisma, which is the literal minimum that a a, a character in D and D can have. Uh, we can only be a warrior or a priest. I think I'm gonna go with warrior. Now our name will be Nora. Strong. Okay. Can't do anything with that. So we'll come back over here. Magic spells. Armor. Okay. Hmm. What is our inventory looking at? Five rations of food, soft leather, armor, a cloak, a dagger, five wooden torches. Hmm. I'm gonna go find some weapons. There we go. And I can't afford shit. Maybe I can sell an item. Okay. Can't buy anything from here either, huh? I can buy a hard leather cap. Fuck it. Don't want to fuck around in this town too much. You enter a maze of down staircases. You pass through a one-way door. Uh, let's see if we can't... How do I light a torch? Maybe I have to wield it? Fill him with oil. Hmm. There we go. The, your light source is a wooden torch with 4,000 turns of light. Close door. Uh, open door. Open door. Appears to be stuck. Can we... You bash down a door or something. That's one of these, right? Um, I thought it was. Maybe, maybe B. Capital B. You smash the door, you're off balance. The door holds firm. Crash is open. Haha, -ha, there is a closed door. <laughs> okay. Appears 
to be stuck. Oh, we got scrolling. Wow, okay, unexpected. The white worm mass crawls on you. You feel very sick. Okay, we did it. This is this is way different from what I'm used to. <laughs> we are poisoned. What is this? Can I inspect or look at or look at given direction? You see copper. It is in a quartz vein. Okay. Um, can I tunnel? You dig with the, okay, yeah. I don't have like a pickaxe or anything. This is, this is wild. Okay. I know that there's a version of this where every all the symbols are color coded, which I can imagine being useful. This appears to be stuck. Okay. There we go. This is... Huh. I'm just completely thrown by how different this game is. Okay, this seems like nothing. Is it just S for search? Yes. My searching is not that good as a big tr Oh, wait, there's a door here. Okay. Open door. Oh, there's the door up here that I missed earlier. Rubble. Okay, can't go that way. Hmm. I know this is a different mood from my rogue videos, but I guess when I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, that's what you get. I wonder if my torch is going to go out. A down staircase. Hey, how about that? I got 400 steps of light. Floating eye. Oh, no. Okay. It's fine. We did it. I gotta stop leaving these unexplored areas. Definitely, um, can see people like making their own maps and shit for this, like in graph paper. Giant white centipede. I don't even know where my health points are. Uh, it's probably current hit points and max hit points on the left. I've slain the white centipede. You have a violent potion. A violet potion, not a violent potion. Uh, 
All right. Big strong Nora coming down to save the day. It would be pretty fun to... I, it would also be, like, tedious, but I failed to pick the lock. I don't need to pick the lock. I smashed the door. Haha. -ha, it worked. What did I get this time? A puce potion. Oh. I was saying, it would be, like, tedious to get graph paper and make your map as you went along, but it would also be pretty fun um that's definitely not a fucking not a let's play thing to do but there we got rubble okay i think it's just time to go down we could explore more though hmm. so much more intricate than i'm used to Oh, yeah. Nothing. Just two closed doors. Nothing in there. Oh, giant white mouse. Oh, fuck. Hitting the wrong button. Okay. Let's drink a potion. You feel better. You have no more violet potions. So that was a little bit of a healing potion. Okay. What else have we got here? Titanium wand. The novice priest. Oh no, we have three hit points? No, that's charisma. Oof. I'm just, you know. You know what? It might. Can I use a wand? I have this new wand. I could bash a monster. I don't know what that is going to do. Magic spell casting. Okay. I thought I needed to zap with a wand, but I guess not. Gain new magic spells is just a button. Okay. Maybe I should have done that. Okay. I'm going to try. Magic spell casting. You can't cast spells. Um, oh. Oh, okay. Welcome to level two. <laughs> uh, let's drink this other potion that we've got. I don't like how I have to open the menu to. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, this is not... This is not gonna work. Yeah. There we go. It wore off. Novice mage? What if I bash you? Welcome to level three. Sure. 
Trigger Mushroom Patch. Might have not, uh, woken something up, it seems like. Okay. We're not doing so hot. This is cool, but I am struggling. Oh, we got stairs. Come on. I'm just going to take the stairs. See if we can't, uh... Kill the novice priest. There we go. Uh, do we have any potions? No, we got nothing. We got seven hit points. Uh, can we eat some food? Is that gonna do anything? I don't think that's gonna do anything. Open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Hmm, so many doors. You failed to pick the lock. Come on. What the fuck? Oh, there's a mage here. Didn't even notice. Okay, come on. Gotta smash through these doors. Uh huh. Found a secret door. Cool. Seems to just lead to a little room with nothing else. Okay. Well. Huge brown bat. Uh, what else is there? It's very funny that if I'm not paying attention, I'll just keep walking into the door. Doors closed, doors closed, doors closed. Okay. Rubble. Rubble, rubble, rubble. Yellow worm mass. Oh, this. Come on. There's so many of them. Oh, Jesus. Armor class is now minus four, for whatever that's worth. What else is going on in here? Giant white ant. I wonder what a J is. A oh, jelly. I kill the jelly. Is this an up staircase? Okay. I don't really want that. 
but you know you can do like stuff where you go back up to the top and you know buy more more stuff but oh, black snake not really interested in doing that right now uh, more mice a tin wand a steel wand can I not use a wand Maybe exchange? Oh, I'm not wielding a weapon? Shit, I should be wielding a weapon. Am I... Am I using... Am I using it? I can't tell. It seems to have disappeared. Sure. I feel like I might have thrown away my weapon somehow. The Mangosh. A Teak Staff. A Radiation Eye. That's no good. I'm horribly allergic. Welcome to level 4. This is so cool. I wish I didn't have to kill my wrist to play it. Oh, don't know what that was. Got a rat. Large green snake. What else we got in here? Closed door. What's in it? Nothing. Okay. Open door. that a leather shield can we can we use a shield wait a spare weapon oh there we go um how do you put on clothes? Uh... Huh. Am I just not seeing it on this screen? Maybe it's not its own thing. I want to wear this. And I want to wear this. And I want to wear this. Okay. Uh, now I'm wearing armor and using weapons.
The creeping copper coins. That's... Oh, oh no. Oh, we're hungry. Oh, we're hungry. Okay, we got rations though. Just need to remember how to eat. Cause it's not E, it's capital E. You have four rations of food now. A drooling harpy. Did not end up being much of a threat. Okay, this one's a little harder to just do a chill playthrough of, like Rogue. I hope this is still oh, great. enjoyable. Um, I'm doing my best. <laughs> uh, it is a a lot to keep in mind. Uh huh. <sighs> we are 250 feet. I think that's how low we are. Is that right? Has that been going up? I haven't really been looking. Close door. Door stuck. Door stuck. I ordered a new chair yesterday. So hopefully, um, gaming gets a little easier. Because I'm a little hunched over in this chair, trying to play at the computer. I have a smoky potion. And a red speckled potion. Fuck that frog. Dark red push. Uh, but yeah, I'm just like hunched over a little bit and I don't really want to be. Hopefully, with the new chair, things will be a little more comfortable and I can use the desk without my wrist dying. <sighs> I'm sleepy. Yeah, I figured that might be a door. Yeah, it's it's hard playing games on a keyboard right now. It's one of the reasons that I haven't really gotten into like visual novels or adventure type games. You know, anything with a mouse and keyboard. It's just hard. Fuck it. Let's just keep going. Just bashing down doors. That's fun. I've got all these wands, and I guess I can't do anything with them. Also, I don't think I've picked up gold. I think I just picked up stuff, which means that I will be expected to just sell it. Fine. Just find straight up gold. Which is fine. It just means that I need to go back. I don't really want to right now. At this point, I'm like feeling kind of like. 
the character that I'm playing is just going to be able to do whatever. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> Maybe I do start looking through looking for some ways back up. I don't know. Got a Naga. Oh shit. What the fuck? What was it fucking around? I got a level on that. <sighs> Oof, okay. So, I said my character felt pretty strong, and then these last couple of monsters have immediately nearly killed me. We got an orc. Will we win? Will we win? No. Oh. Okay. Nora Strong, the veteran, third, warrior, level seven. Killed by an orc on level seven. <sighs> well, I know that this was a little weird. Uh, different game, different vibe, I guess, you know? Uh, this is not like the chill comfort that Rogue is for me. Uh, maybe it's just because it's much more intricate and... Um, has more stuff happening. Um, I like it. I like the idea of making your own character. But I also have a lot of fondness for the just standard, like, you're just here. You don't have stats. Well, you have strength. You have a strength stat. You have a hunger timer. Um, so I'm a little... I have mixed feelings about this game. I think it's interesting. I'm happy that I've played it. I'm not going to put a ton of time into it the way that I'm going to do Rogue, though, because Rogue is just kind of good. <laughs> like, it's like Doom, right? Like, when I play Doom, I'm just like, hell yeah, this is Doom, and I have a great time playing Doom, and I don't need all this other stuff. It's just Doom. It's good on its own, and that's kind of how I feel about Rogue. Um, there are a couple of maybe small changes I would make, but a little alterations that I'm sure get introduced over time as you play roguelikes, but, like, rogue is just fucking good. Doom is just fucking good. They're still just good. <laughs> they are classics for a reason. Um, I'm, I hope I'm not sounding like I'm too down on this game. I think it's really interesting and cool. It's just, like, the thing I'm coming to these for in, in the, at this point right now is to just have a good time and relax. Um, and this definitely has more of the D&D &D vibe than Rogue does, with the classes and the races and all, but... I also just like being able to do whatever. Like, oh, I picked up a, a wand, I can use the wand. I can, you know... The Rogue being... A character who can do anything they need to to survive versus the Moria character being someone who like you know um, goes into the dungeon finds some stuff sells some of it and then keeps the other stuff and that's like what a lot of games are and right in this moment I'm just looking for rogue more than this but if y'all enjoyed this I'll definitely record more of it I keep talking in circles about whether or not I like this game, and I think I do like it. It's just... 
very mentally taxing. Um, like, I wasn't sleepy when I started this recording, but I sure am now. Uh, and that's... Rogue doesn't really do that to me. So, um... Thanks for watching. Uh... This also, like, this is free, by the way. Moria is free. You find it online. It's called You Moria, I think, because this version of it is, like, written in some other language. Um... Because this game is from 1983 or 85, I forget. Um, pretty early on. You can find this. Uh, there's like a guy who um, is kind of the person on the internet who's in charge of this game. And like having it out there. Um, it's according to posts I saw from like a decade ago. Um but, like, nobody owns this because, you know, it's called Moria, right? Uh, I don't think you'd be allowed to sell a game called Moria in this day and age. Um, you can find this online. You can just uh, download it. You can play it. It's fun. Uh, I would recommend it. I would recommend Rogue first. But, like, if you want something with some extra fiddly bits, yeah, this is this is fun. I keep talking. I keep talking. I gotta go. I gotta go lay down. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone.